in what was it April 2018 um, we had the the Skripal poisonings uh, over here and there was an incredible amount of propaganda and misinformation and disinformation around that I know you did uh, you did some some work on it and you witnessed that what can you tell me about that and how it fits into the scenario we're in at the moment well, uh, the, the, the Skripal poisoning, I mean, one of the remarkable things about that incident, and of course the, the allegation is, is placed by the UK government that the Russians were responsible and so on, and that seems to be the narrative which has been promoted. But one of the very interesting things about Skripal, apart from the sort of implausibility of, of the initial claims that were being made that Russia would carry out an attack in that way, was the way in which almost immediately there was, I think, a, a D-notice issued to um, prevent journalists from reporting on Pablo Miller, who was the handler, the intelligence services handler mm -hmm. for um, Skripal. And, of course, Pablo Miller was connected to Christopher Steele and the dossier, the, the, the notorious now dossier on the Trump uh, visit to Moscow, which was, I think, was a key part of, of kick-starting the, the initial impeachment drive against, um, uh, against um, Donald Trump. And th those sort of basic facts or basic issues, matters which should have been investigated by journalists, okay, mm -hmm. because we know if somebody's attacked and poisoned and this person is connected to essentially UK intelligence and, and a dossier which is at the middle of a massive political storm in the United States, you know, if you're a good copper, you'd, you'd start asking a few questions. But so the fact that you had that kind of suppression going on, and D notice based, so security notice based suppression of information, um, just indicated, and also the extent to which the mainstream media, obviously, you know, it's, it's a voluntary uh, system, that, that restriction on reporting, um, but the extent to which the mainstream media was really happy to go along with quite extraordinary and inconsistent claims being put out by the UK government and really just buy into the narrative ultimately that sort of this is Russia and it's all part of, you know, the, the big Russian threat which is emerging at this point in time was just quite extraordinary. It just showed the lack of confidence and the lack of critical thinking going on across probably the nearly 99% yeah. of the mainstream media, hardly anyone asking the, the basic probing questions that you would expect um, from a journalist. So it's, I think it's a strong indication of, of how weak the media is, but it is also, I, th I think, it, to the extent that the Skripal thing has been part of this anti-Russia propaganda drive, um, it was a good indication of, of what the powers that be, what issues that they've been pushing at this point in time, and the way in which you know this kind of deflection onto this external threat, which in, in many ways I, th I think is, is is imagined and exaggerated from Russia, has been a key sort of element in in governance. I think governance and control yeah. um, in contemporary Britain. <clears throat> yeah, if you've got a big boogeyman that to scare people with, it does. Uh, it, it is it much yeah. easier to control. You say there the ridiculous the. The, the the way the media haven't have fell down even with the you know they even even haven't even asked the most basic or weak uh, basic questions that I mean for an example for instance they, we find out um, months after the Skripal poisonings that the per, the first person to treat the uh, the Skripals was the army nurse of the British Army who'd received a medal from the Queen etc and you know, had got a history of treating um, um, exotic diseases. I mean, this is the equivalent of there being an outbreak, a break of the Metabovos uh, virus somewhere in Iowa, and the first person to come across them was the equivalent in real life of the, the cast of Outbreak, you know? So these the, the bog-standard, standard questions they're falling down of here, on here.